Hello again, Struck Club. Today I'm bringing you the class skills showcase for the Cursed Captain class in Torchlight 3. Thankfully, even though I had problems with the server, uh, I was able to just uh, ignore that and play offline and level up some heroes easily offline so I can show you this. So instead of bringing you a build video, first I'm bringing you this. The Cursed Captain is fun and there's a lot of fun ways to build him. Uh, you don't have to build a meta build as on any class, you don't need a meta build to do the hardest content. So even though some skills are kind of underwhelming, they're still um, worth using if you want that type of a build. Uh, I've been experimenting with all sorts of builds um, last night and um, I tested some things today. And here will be the video where I show you what the skills are. Keep in mind every skill was leveled to level 10 without any bonus points and without any bonus damage. On the two tips you're seeing the base level 10 damages, cooldowns, etc. We'll start with the piracy and then move on to the cursed tree. And the first piracy skill would be fire. The skill that we all start with as... As a, as a one skill point invested into. So yeah, this is an interesting skill because it counts as a minion. It benefits from minion damage such as Bane, uh, Bane's Miasma. And you can see it's summoning cannoneers uh, that are static and stay in one place, but they shoot. Um, and uh, also, of course, if you have the banner, you can make them shoot quicker. And there's other good bonuses. There's also item synergies with that cannon that you see on your screen. And like any um, uh, any the wounds uh, cost skill, you can uh, synergize it with those um, with those powderons to give yourself uh, 10 or 20 percent buff. I strongly suggest for any build to use at least one the wound costing skill uh, so that you can always benefit from that buff. And next we're moving on to Double Cross, which has a uh, very nice synergy with basic attacks. Even if you don't use the basic attacks uh, to do damage with them, you can use them to build treachery stacks. And speaking of treachery stacks, the Shark Blade can give you uh, double, so it makes it from 5 to go up to 10 stacks, which means from 500 extra damage to 1000% weapon damage extra, which makes Double Cross a pretty nice skill. Uh, to use. It makes it uh, not as strong as Powder Keg, but since you probably might end up using it a little bit more often, uh, you could uh, end up seeing like a kind of a balance there. It's good enough uh, and there's some synergies with um, that. So take that, take maybe the Commander's Cape to get some levels and keep in mind that if you're standing in mid-range, specific range, it hits three times the same target instead of one time a straight line. Maybe a buck, maybe not a buck. Next is Rate Woke, which is the movement skill of the Curse Captain class. Every class has one, and um, the Curse Captain's one, like the others, synergizes with the Wanderer's Hood, the Winter Weave Boots, uh, also like any other item on this skill tree. Um, it synergizes with the Commodore's Cape. Uh, there is a spirit that can be summoned in a straight line to do piercing damage uh, in front of you, which you would see uh, right now. Uh, it's not that much of a damage, but uh, if you really max it out, you can do it. I normally keep that at tier 2 and don't go for the tier 3 bonus that you would see now. And next, we're moving on to Thunderbus, which seems amazing um, for few reasons. First of all, it's very cheap to cast it when you max it out. And you can pretty much spam it as if you're playing an Absolver build on the Disc Mage. And then you can synergize it with the Pearl of Plenty. You can synergize it with that Spire, Fortune Spire. So you can shoot a second, um, second wave of those uh, projectiles. And like any other uh, coin uh, under uh, the wound costing skill, you can use the Powdrons to give yourself that extra damage. And one thing that it's very great for is to synergize it with Broadside. While Broadside is uh, cooling down, you can spam this and it will keep reducing the cooldown. And sin since this seems to be the most spammy uh, Duboon skill, um, it seems like a great idea to, to synergize this with Broadside, where you're using the Broadside legendary item alongside the Ponderbus um, legendary item. It, it, can be, it can be pretty fun to have such a setup. Now, next we're moving uh, into the healing and survivability skill, which a good build might not need take a week, but take a week is there if you want it for healing and to provide some extra damage reduction. 
it's great and uh, once you cast it it gives you a buff uh, that gives you a, it gives you something that makes the next five basic attacks reduce the cooldown of take a week. So it can go well with basic attack builds, um, but as I said, if you have enough defense and resistances, um, you may not need that uh, extra healing and damage reduction, especially if you're using a butt drinker uh, or something else. But it's still there if you need it. It's not that bad of a skill. It synergizes nicely. Uh, some people might want to invest into it. Uh, some people might not want to. Um, there is uh, a synergy with, uh, with the PAL drones. Uh, that can auto cast it, so my, you might just uh, leave it be there as a second, uh, as a second wind, not second wind, but as a as an emergency thing. You may just level it up a little, but not put it in the skill bar and just use it as an auto cast when you fall below 25% HP. And next is Powder Keg, my favorite skill. It does so much damage. It's the most um, damage per hit skill on this class, and there is uh, a synergy with the Showman. Uh, the showman cannon which you can put in the legendarium if you don't want to wear it um, and then there's also synergy with uh, first mate or first matey as it's called sometimes uh, where it can cast uh, kegs but i'm not sure if the kegs from first mate um, do the same damage as the kegs from this one but in in general i love this and i love that you can spam three at the same time one after the other if you have all the charges to burst down a boss um, next, we're moving on to Broadside, and as I mentioned, this skill has this uh, this nice mechanic where if you're using other skills from the same skill tree, the piracy skill tree, uh, you can get um, the cooldown down. There's also Big Fish, which I haven't gotten um, to try, but apparently it will allow us to do extra damage um, while we cast this. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's nice to to maybe try and combine this with Plunderbuss or with Fire. Um, as a Dubun cost skill that you can use to reduce the cooldown of the skill alongside using Powder Keg and the Mobility skill and Take a Week and stuff like that uh, or, or a Double Cross, it can also reduce the cooldown. But keep in mind that uh, you in most builds you may not have room for this but I still suggest if you have room for it, use it if, you, if you're not spamming other things. And next is Black Spot, uh, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty cool skill to use. And um, I strongly suggest using it um, because this gives you a lot of damage on bosses. I mean, you may not use it for trash mobs because it might seem like a waste to use it on trash mobs, but on bosses, extra 40% damage or on champions that are a little bit stubborn and uh, more tanky, uh, you would want to use this. So I don't think the damage that it does is that great considering the cooldown, but um, the damage debuff is nice and there's also legendary items you can use for some weird builds. Next is Maelstrom. And Maelstrom, uh, I had to use it here on the dummies because there's certain things that I can only show you on the dummies. Unfortunately on the dummies you cannot see the pulling effect, which is very simple. It pulls all enemies towards the center of the area if they're caught in the whirlpool, in the storm. Um, you can see that the size is bigger when you spend uh, food boons and um, you can see now uh, what kind of range to expect once I cast it up there next to the next to the um, die station, to the, to the cosmetic station. Look at that. If you cast it here and it's hitting those two dummies but it's not hitting the other one. So it's a pretty good wide radius when you cast it with full the boons and that can kind of group up the whole map and you can just either use broadside or powder kegs or um, or um, double cross to finish them off. Next is thieving spirits. It's a great skill uh, if you want to to be spamming a lot of the boons but uh, many builds would not even need this but here's how it works. Yeah you have the spirits it's kind of like an holy bolt on the disc mage with different uh, skin uh, and it lets you shoot with the basic attacks. There's also a synergy that I forgot to add um, on, the, um, on the screen, but it's the synergy that I talked about um, during Black Spot, where you can auto-cast thieving spirits. So there's this synergy and then there's the, the, the pistol that you're seeing on your screen. And just like any Dubun costing skill and like Maelstrom, Fire, etc., it can synergize well with Pearl of Plenty or with the item that gives you buff damage. 
when using uh, a Dubon skill. Now there is Dread Banner. It can stun with the tier 3 bonus, it gives you an amazing buff for you and your teammates and your minions. Um, and um, it doesn't have an item synergy other than the jacket for skill points. Um, but it's nice and you can see, um, you can see kind of the difference in the attack speed b before using it, after using it and when it ends, how it kind of changes. You're seeing on my screen the attack speed that I've got and the attack speed I would have once I use um, the banner. Uh, on top of that it gives you other things uh, such as um, crit chance. Keep in mind attack speed caps at 60%, crit chance caps at 40%. It's very important to know those caps uh, and to um, plan out your build. I normally use this mostly for the damage. Uh, I don't care about the attack speed much unless I'm doing a basic attack build. And I don't care about crit chance because normally I use the Woods Beast boots and the Pet Aura which already gives me 40%. But um, if, you, if, you, if you use it and want a shorter cooldown, obviously max it out, get it to 10 plus 2, maybe get some more points from a helmet. Next call the crew. Uh, I wanted to show it uh, in where you can see properly the projectiles and stuff in my fort. Uh, so you're not going to see them out attacking, you're just going to see what they do, those skeletons that you can summon, what they do when you reactivate the skill, how they um, travel if they're melee to the location uh, where the skill is and how they attack um, if they're ranged um, uh, with their rifles. I think it's nice and there's an item synergy that can summon a giant crab which I didn't have. And um, yeah, just like any Dubun costing skill, um, you can uh, get some damage both for yourself and anyone um, under your command with the Powdrons of the Commodore set. Next is Ghost Ship, which is kind of an underwhelming skill, uh, and I would show you how um, it feels to use it with uh, um, the legendary items. So you see it without the legendary item, and then you're gonna see me switch items, um, switch to that anchor item. Again, it synergizes with, um, with the Dubun uh, shoulder um, kind of buff and the, the Pearl of Plenty. Now let's switch to the anchor item so you can see how, how it feels. Uh, I just don't like the whole mechanic uh, of this thing, how it's shooting in one side, the other, the one, the other. But there are some situations where you can see um, some good use of this skill. But you would need uh, the enemies to be placed in a very specific way and um, you would have to put the ship and hope that the enemies don't end up changing locations. Um, it, it is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, that's kind of um, not everyone's favorite skill. And most people won't include it in their uh, setups, but if you like it, uh, it's not going to be that bad. Um, just don't expect this to be like a meta skill or anything. Um, but it's fun. Uh, it definitely is fun. Uh, and yeah, there is that item that they're suggesting to use, so so there's that thing about it. Some people might just invest it into, into the skill for the tier 2 bonus and just use it as a passive only skill. Um, but overall uh, it's broken and it doesn't summon crewmen. If you noticed, it didn't summon crewmen. So there's that to consider as well. Now Maximilian first mate or first matey as it's written in some items that give it bonus damage. Um, no specific item synergies other than the, than the Dubun uh, ones that we talked about, but it basically summons um, someone that looks like a cursed captain and shoots a cannon, and then she can also spawn uh, powder kegs, which I, I'm not sure whether they would benefit uh, if you level up your powder keg or whether they're different. It says that she uses her own powder kegs. Um, and sh her own uh, ponder bus at least and if you reactivate the skill it uses ponder bus and I'm assuming this ponder bus most likely wouldn't benefit uh, from extra damage if you level up the ponder bus but probably the kek would because for ponder bus it says her own whereas for kek we don't have this specific saying her own uh, it just says she summons keks she, she, she uses keks um, it's nice. Uh, I think she's a fun skill or he or depending. I'm, I'm not sure if it's always she or sometimes it's a he depending what gender uh, and what type of hero you select. But it's a fun skill and that pretty much wraps up uh, the, um, the video. So I hope you enjoyed uh, me talking and explaining about all those things. Um, the Curse Captain more fun than I initially expected and there's some very nice builds for it.
to get notified when I upload more content for this game or uh, other games like this one, which would be Wooters of all varieties, isometric, uh, third-person ARPGs, uh, Wooter shooters and all sorts of uh, Wooters like that. You could subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out uh, on my content updates. And optionally, you can even join as a member of the Struck Club on YouTube as a channel member to get access to exclusive perks such as uh, special emotes custom made by me, special badges custom made by me, that represents how many months you have been a member for, uh, as well as uh, opt-in uh, of editing tutorials that I can give for Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, as well as uh, shout outs and things like that. And I would like to use this uh, part of the video to thank all my um, YouTube members and uh, Twitch subscribers. Thank you for supporting the channel and keeping me going. Uh, thank you also for watching this video, everyone. Keep it cool, uh, Struck Club. Until next time and goodbye.